Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined here at the Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora press conference by the main man, Daniel Dubois. How are you, Daniel? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. How are you feeling? The three days out for your big fight against Kevin Lorena on a massive stage here at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. How has camp been? It's been um, exciting. It's been good. It's, I'm glad it's finally come to an end and uh, the hard work is all done now. It's just staying fit and staying composed for Saturday. Talk to me about Lorena then. He's small, but he's a tricky southpaw. Um, have you been sparring southpaws in the lead up to this? I've had, yeah, a few good rounds. There's a lot of southpaws, different styles, a lot of amateur boxers. So um, he's, he looks, looks like, you know, short and, and sort of fast, just with fast hands and everything. So I think I'm, I'm well prepared and ready to go out there and do the business. Do you think that Lorena's going to bring some, cause potential, potentially some problems for you on Saturday night and give you some good testing rounds? I've been training for that. I've been preparing for that. Any problem he brings, I'm ready for it. And um, that's my, this is what I've whole, whole been doing this whole camp, preparing for any little situation what might come up. And I'm just ready to stick it on him and go out there and, you know, bring devastation, carnage. After that title win out in the States, your name was bounded about with a lot of big names like Dillian White for, to be top of the list. Um, were you disappointed not to get one of those top heavyweights? Well, this, in this game, you've got to you know, ride with the punches and in and out of the ring. It's, it, you know how it goes. Some of these guys, they don't want smoke, so we just, we just take what we can get. And um, Anyway, this opportunity is here, and I'm glad to be fighting on Saturdays. It's been a while. I've been, I need to get my career moving again and you know, speed things up a little bit. So a devastating win on Saturday, and I'm back in the, you know, back in the picture. Talking of Dillian, did you see his fight against Jermaine Franklin on Saturday night? And what did you make of it, if so? Yeah, he got the win. It was, it was got, you know, it wasn't an entertaining fight or lively or anything, but he got the win. Um, he didn't look, he looked sluggish, he looked slow, but um, the main thing is the win and, you know, we move on. Still another big fight for you, that though, Dillian White, potentially in 2023. You are in, eyeing that up still? Oh, for sure, for sure. It's down the line, further down the line, or... You know, there's even bigger fish than him, so we'll see. Going back a couple of days now at the media workout, Tyson Fury come and spoke to you. Can you reveal to us what he said, if anything? Oh, yeah. yeah, he said he wants to fight me next, didn't he? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's, you know, it's all good. You know, we're at fight week now and um, everyone's, everyone's... I think the whole world, all eyes are going to be on this show, from America especially, and they're going to be watching, you know, my fight and Tyson Fury's fight, so I'm excited. He said he wants to fight you then. Uh, you wanted a big fight. Would you have stepped in uh, on Saturday night to get against Tyson at White Hart Lane here? Of course, it would have been a better fight, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 100%. But let's just quickly talk about that main event, Tyson Fury versus Derek Jezora. How much of a chance do you give Derek third time round? I think, you know, everyone expects Fury to win. I do as well, but you can never write off Jezora. He's got... One, if you know, one punch can change everything in boxing. So, never, never look past that. But I expect a few win. And just finally, going into 2023 for yourself, you got you're wanting the big fights. Who is the top of that hit list? If you could have three big fights in 2023, who do you want in an ideal world, Daniel? Fury, AJ, and Deontay Wilder, or <laughs> Usyk. <laughs> Three of the big ones, three of the big ones. Thank you very much. Uh, I know the press conference is going to be starting soon, but cheers for taking that. some of your time, Daniel, and I'll speak to you again soon. Best luck on Saturday night, mate. God bless. Thank you. Cheers, Daniel. Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 
9 p.m. live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. Eh? See if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.